What's up guys, this is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. Hope all is well. It's good to see all of you. Listen guys, I want to get your opinion on something that I read earlier today. Now this concerns an article from our good friends over in Bounding into Comics. Um, I have great respect for them. I cite a lot of their articles over the years, man. I, they've given content to just about everybody. If you have not cited Bounding Into Comics in your video and you're a content creator, then your channel is just not popping, okay? Because that's the source, man. That's the source. But um, anyway, I saw this article and like I said, I want to bounce it off of you, get your opinion on this. I think it's very provocative. And um, I'll start off by saying, as you guys know, I just did, I think the last video I, that I did, maybe a week ago, I was talking about how much I love the show uh, One Piece on Netflix, had a great time watching it, and um, I'll be doggone, one thing I did not notice, all right, is that um, the actor that plays Kobe on the show um, is transgender, all right, now I don't know, raise your hand if anybody already knew this, I, I have no idea. All right, just goes to show you, if they don't make a big deal about it, most of us ain't going to know, you know, when it comes to things like that. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I did not know this until I read this article. So I want to read from this article, uh, some of it, and I want to get your opinion, like I said, on what we're talking about here and uh, the implications of it. Okay, follow me now. Okay, so the uh, headline goes, Netflix's One Piece encourages transgender ideology by having Morgana Davies play Kobe. Netflix's One Piece encourages transgender ideology by having Morgana Davis play Kobe or Davies. Okay, this is by uh, John F. Trent. Good dude. I think I was on a panel with him once or twice. And um, let's get into some of what this article has to say here, okay? Netflix's One Piece, which has dominated the streaming services viewing charts for the past two weeks, encourages transgender ideology by casting Morgana Davies, a young woman who now claims to be a man, to play Kobe. Okay, for the sake of reading the article, I'm just going to read it straight, even though, uh, I mean, no pun intended, straight, but um, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the actor refers to himself as Morgan Davies. Okay, so just to be fair, you know, full disclosure, um, okay, but the article is uh, going to call the actor Morgana Davies. Okay, so going on. Having watched seven of the eight episodes, the series itself, through its storylines, does not actually push this transgender ideology. Ironically, there's a scene that makes it very clear that men and women are different. Now, of course, they're talking about the scene with the uh, swordsman uh, Zoro where he is flashbacking to when he was a young boy and he was consistently being bested by a female swords person and the female swords person kept beating him and he got discouraged. He says, I'm never going to beat you. I'm going to fail. I can't, I'm never going to be the greatest swordsman in the world. And she assures him that a girl, it's possible for a girl to beat a boy, but it's not possible for a woman to beat a man because once a man is full grown, most of the time that man is always going to be stronger, have more of a reach than a woman, um, you know, faster. You mean all of that good stuff, right? That's the reason why a lot of men, when they can't uh, perform in their respective sports, they go over and decide they're going to uh, <laughs> identify as a woman and go to women's leagues where, of course, they end up on top. You know, they end up uh, dominating that sport. But we're not going to get into that aspect of this, okay? What we're talking about here is the fact that in the show, it was acknowledged that there is a difference between men and women, uh, strength-wise, performance-wise, all of that stuff, right? So it goes on to say, while the show seemingly acknowledges the difference between men and women, it doesn't necessarily rebuke transgender ideology, which claims that women can become men and vice versa. And it's this ideology that Netflix and the show's production company, Tomorrow Studios, embraced with the casting of Davies as Kobe. Okay, so it says it doesn't necessarily rebuke transgender ideology. Is it really the job of the show to rebuke anything? I thought part of the problem that we have with these shows is that they were too preachy. I, I would assume that means preachy one way or the other. You just want to tell the story. And this is the reason why I found One Piece to be so refreshing because it doesn't do that. It doesn't rebuke anything. It doesn't judge anything. 
so far. All right, and there might be a reason for that, guys. I wanna scroll down and read something that I did not know. And this actually speaks to my last video. It says here, let's see. Um, <clears throat> it says, oh, they opine. It's likely Davies would have also used uh, the One Piece show to push transgender ideology onto the fans of the series through the show's promotional tour. She previously pushed the ideology in the interview with Vogue saying, I think we need more diversification behind the camera. There are trans stories, but not being written or directed by or lit by a trans person. Davies has also made it clear she wants the transgender ideology normalized through acting. While talking about her role in Blaze, she said, even though it's a small part, there was no mention of gender. I was just playing a role. Commenting on the short film, Beautiful They, she described it as a story that shows a good trans experience. Now, this is the part I didn't know. Fortunately, the SAG-AFTRA strike appears to have prevented any promotion of the series from all the actors involved, and thus Davies did not get to spread the transgender ideology to the One Piece viewing audience. Now, this actually speaks to the last video that I did where I was talking about, I wonder why they didn't do that. They didn't push it the same way they would in Marvel or Disney. Look, we have trans people in here. We have black people in here. We have women in here. You know, they didn't do any of that. And I thought that was... Very refreshing, you know, like I said before. But it turns out they didn't do it, according to this, because they actually were not allowed to do it because of the strike. If that's true, well, I guess it's a blessing in disguise for the rest of us because we're sick of that, right? And because we were spared that, we were more open-minded to this show to the point where I didn't even notice that uh, the character of Kobe was being played by a transgender. I mean, how would I know that, right? But here's the thing, right? And here's the, uh, the part that I need help with from you guys. Here's the question I have for you, right? According to the uh, headline here, it says that the show encourages, right? Let me bring it back here. One Piece encourages transgender ideology just by the mere fact that they're having this actor play a role. So what are we talking about here? Are you just, are we supposed to be... Um, offended by the mere fact that this person got a job is that what this is like they're not entitled to have employment they're not they're not entitled to seek happiness or you know what i mean or gainful employment I, I mean see that's where it becomes a slippery slope because if that's where we're going with this then you yeah you could condemn one piece you could condemn netflix you could condemn your local supermarket if they hire a transgender person are we saying that they're just not allowed to work and if they do work that company is guilty of encouraging that lifestyle because the fact of the matter is with all due respect these people do exist right they do live and they depend upon employment to live are we supposed to be denying them the right to live because that's just a few steps away from witch hunts, if that's what we're doing here, guys. With all due respect, we have to be very, very careful. Now, some of you might be surprised to hear me taking a stance like this, but you wouldn't be if you've been following my videos for years. My very first video, I talked about how nobody has to love you. That was the title of the video. At the time, I was talking to black people. Nobody has to love you. I don't need people to love me as a black person, as a matter of fact, you're free to hate me in the privacy of your own home, in the recesses of your own mind. But when I walk out into the world and I'm looking for employment, I'm looking for um, the pursuit of happiness, you know, things like that, I don't expect to be blocked based upon who I am. All right, because now you're talking about bigotry, you're talking about racism, you're talking about raw hatred, you're talking about you want someone dead. Because if they can't make a life for themselves, if they can't eat, if they can't drink, well, they're going to die. You know what I mean? And if that's what it is, if by merely offering these people employment or offering them goods and services makes you guilty of encouraging a lifestyle, then we're getting dangerously close to going back to witch hunts, like I said before. And... I think that goes against what America at least is supposed to be about fundamentally or any free society. Now, I've been very vocal 
about how I feel about the whole transgender thing, especially when it deals with children and transitioning children and things like that. If you're going to push that on children, then I'm totally against that. But as far as I know, up until now, this has not been presented that way in One Piece. Maybe it's because of the strike. Maybe it's something that we're going to see once the strike goes away or whatever. Um, but right now, I'm not seeing that, right? Um, so... It's kind of tricky, guys. I'm not saying that I can't change my mind here or there. It's a very provocative topic. Like I said before, that's the reason why I'm asking your opinion about this. The mere fact that this Morgan Davies is a transgender person, was born a girl who transitioned into a, a male, is playing a male character. Um, is that mere fact a deal breaker? Do you feel like One Piece or Netflix is guilty of encouraging this type of lifestyle or pushing it onto children so far like i said it hasn't been uh reflected in the material but um where do you feel about where this stands right now the mere fact that they would hire this person and if hiring that person is enough to make them guilty of encouraging well then where do these people go you know what do they do are they is this something like they're they're worthy of death because of who they are and how they are. Is, is this what we're doing? Is this what we should be doing? Because we are unfortunately miscategorized in this fandom as being intolerant, as being bigoted and things like that. And we don't want to run the risk of being guilty of that accusation. So I'm just putting it out there, guys. Something to think about. Um, with all due respect to everybody and everybody's uh, point of view, I want you to get into the comment section. I want you to tell me how you feel about this, guys. Uh, do it respectfully. And uh, I'm interested in seeing about this. And um, I thank you guys for listening, all right? So you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. I thank you for your support. Thank you for the super thanks. I just thank you for being here, guys. And I will catch you on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.